Few weapons strike as much fear as the Gatling gun. Being one of the most powerful guns ever created, it not only changed war, but the world. Created in 1861 by Dr. Richard Gatling, a rich Virginian farmer who by this time had already invented and patented several inventions. Although from the South during the Civil War, Gatling was a supporter of Northern slave ideas. Not only did Gatling want to see the South lose, but he wanted to help the North. Gatling being who he was, a peaceful man who had once gone to medical school to become a physician, did not approve of any war. Thus he created the Gatling gun. His belief was that the invention would become so devastating that it would make men fear war. Gatling, however, did not complete his design until after the war. However, one Major General Butler became so impressed, he bought all but one of Gatling's guns. Butler used these in the Battle of Petersburg, which he won. Although this gun was the most destructive weapon of the Civil War, this weapon of tremendous power was declared obsolete during World War I by the U.S. military. Until 1945, this gun remained on the shelves where it saw no battles. Though this occurred, the Gatling design benefited from its hibernation. While on the shelves, scientists and gunsmiths found ideas and improvements that would help the gun's design. This included rate and fire, gas leakage, barrel overheating. These problems that caused the demise of the Gatling gun in World War I were approached by creating the gun again from the inside out. New integrated barrels and a jamming removal system were added to increase accuracy and prevent jams in the heat of battle. During World War II, Nazi technology was far ahead of the rest of the world. During this time, the Browning gun was the main aircraft gun on most Allied aircraft. But they were not powerful enough to take out Nazi aircraft. The Allied forces then gave a small weapons manufacturing company the go-ahead to begin manufacturing Gatling's design. Later, General Electric received the contract and a special project from the military this project was called Project Vulcan. It required the company to have the gun fire the standard 60 caliber round, reach a maximum length of 80 inches, and have a 1,000 round per minute minimum. The company then created the T-45, a 2,500 to 6,000 round per minute Gatling gun. The Army and Navy were impressed and requested more T-45s. General Electric quickly complied and gave the military 34 new T-45s. After this, General Electric was free to experiment with prototypes. They created four prototypes, all similar in design, but each with its own unique characteristics. The T-150 used experimental 27mm rounds instead of the standard 60 caliber. The T-171 used 20mm rounds and the T-62 was the same as the T-45, except with a shortened barrel. After the Korean War, the contract to General Electric changed, requiring them to have a fire rate of 6,000 rounds per minute and use the 20mm round. This was the start of the 20mm project. This became the project that created the basis for the Gatling gun today. This allowed the Gatling gun to go airborne and become the standard on gun on helicopters. Although only used once during the Civil War, this weapon drastically changed American history. It has had a home in the hands of American soldiers since the 1800s on land and sea and continues to be used by American soldiers today. Gatling, however, sold his gun to other countries such as Japan and France. One Gatling gun is even on display in the Beijing National Museum. Gatling spent the later years of his life working to spread his invention across the world in order to maintain peace. However, Gatling's guns are more than military super guns. They are the protectors of nuclear power plants and other very important buildings. The gun itself is a way that Dr. Gatling was able to show his genius and hatred of war created for only the sole purpose of saving the lives of soldiers and civilians alike, Dr. Gatling's dream may someday be realized and can bring an end to war everywhere.
This was the main reason that Dr. Gatlin created the Gatlin gun in the first place. He wanted to create an innovation that would significantly reduce the amount of deaths brought to his hometown. He not only wanted to do this, but he also hoped to one day end war in general. He hoped that his invention would become so devastating and destructive that men would actually fear having wars. He hoped that one day there would be world peace because of his weapon. Hopefully, someday, Dr. Gatling's dream can be realized, and the world can change for the better and not have war. Perhaps Dr. Gatling's gun can be a part of this incredible achievement.